What are you looking for? What do you what do you want to see against the Steelers? Um, you know, they, we've talked in the past. The effort's been really good. This team has not quit. Um, I know we want to see that. What do you? What else do you want to see uh, against Pittsburgh? And continue to evaluate um, Jameis big time. Um, can he lessen the big turnover? Uh, can he continue to lead this team and be competitive week in, week out? I mean, the, the win against the Ravens, the win against the Steelers. They have a chance to actually put up a really good record against um, the AFC North, which would be an accomplishment in itself. So, you know, sweeping Steelers would be an accomplishment within itself. And, uh, you know, we are seeing them play competitive football uh, where a lot of teams in their position are not and have kind of packed it in. So, and I think a lot of that has to do with his intangibles too. So I am mean, continue to evaluate Jameis in a big way because that's, that is a major decision. You would love to see him improve on the run game. Uh, I just don't know if they have the personnel to do that this year. Uh, but you know, not throwing it 58 times would be a start. Uh, but yeah, and continue to evaluate these wide receivers on the defensive side. You're going to have Ronnie Hickman back there. Uh, Muhammad Diabate, Isaiah McGuire, all young players that you're watching and you want to see ascend, make plays in big moments, things like that, because they can be a part of your team and your future. As a, you know, as you go into 2025, you've got to make some personnel decisions there because it is a critical year for Stefanski and Barry. So they're going to treat it as such. Uh, so evaluating these young players is huge, too.